Well, guys, I'm out here and about here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. Hey, I'm out and about looking for a storage unit, guys, that I could park my trailer and my mowers, my equipment, and, and whatnot. We're moving into uh, downtown in a loft in April here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. Anyways, guys. So I'm out and about looking for a good price on a storage unit, maybe a 10 by 15, 10 by 20, something like that. Something I could park my little trailer in and a couple of lawn care equipment. I made a reservation to come and look out, to come and look at a storage over here at public storage. And uh, when I called and I told them what I was looking for, they're like, yeah, we got one. We got one guy. We got one for $99 a month. I was like, what? I was like, I gotta jump on that, dude. So when I came over here to check it out, they told me it was a parking space. I was like, man, y'all guys are whack. I was like, besides, yeah, I don't have an open trailer, guys. If I had an open trailer, then that would be doable. But if that ain't gonna, that ain't gonna work, man. That ain't gonna work. Not here in D Town. Uh uh. So I told them, uh, well, I need something closer to downtown Dallas where we're gonna be at. So I'm heading up there to actually look at an enclosed storage space. And it's a little bit more pricey. I'm like, dang, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta, I gotta get something, guys. You know, April is right around the corner. <coughs> you know, I gotta start making money on YouTube. That way, it'll pay for my storage unit a month, man. I'm telling you guys, help a brother out, man. Help out, help him out by sharing my videos and liking my videos and. Help me make make some money on here so I could pay for the storage unit, fellas. Let me show you, let me give you a view real quick what I'm working with. Here, here we go fellas let's go let's see if we can find this this storage unit that I'm looking for here in the beautiful city of Dallas Texas and you're watching Eclipse lawn care out of the beautiful city of Dallas Texas all right guys uh, this is a all right neighborhood fellas not too bad not too bad, not too shabby. Uh-uh. Got a punk rocker walking down the street. We got some donuts and deli over. Oh, there it is. Public. What? Here it is. Let's check it out, fellas. It's right here. It says public storage, but it doesn't look like a storage unit. See, it's just public storage, but it doesn't look like a public storage. It looks more like a like a little shopping center type deal. Maybe it's in the back. Sorry, guys, if it's a little dark. It's it's really cloudy out here. It's very cloudy out here. Dang it. Maybe not. Maybe not, fellas. No, man. Maybe not. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I think that lady said there's gonna be a grocery store. Maybe it used, you know what, I think this building right here used to be a public storage. Well, there's Target. She said there's a Target. I don't know, man, let's see. 
Man, but almost 200 bucks for a 10 by 15, man. That ain't. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Public storage. Check it out. This way, hold on. Public stores, there it is. There she is, fellas. There she is. Well, let me go in here real quick and see what the dealio is, fellas. Let's see what. Let's see what's up. Mark. Yes, ma'am. Hi. This. When are you going to start the back? We're we're starting tomorrow, ma'am. I have you okay. I have you scheduled for tomorrow morning. Okay, great. When are you gonna come by? I want you to do some other work. Between eight and, and eleven. Today. Tomorrow. Okay, I'm not gonna be there. I'm gonna go out of town Tuesday and Wednesday. What okay. about? Can you do it uh, Friday? You can go ahead and mow and everything tomorrow. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Well, guys, this is the day, my official mowing day. My official mowing day season starts today, guys. Now, I'm, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited, fellas. And the first property I'm going to do is that commercial property that I picked up. Okay, I picked up one commercial property. However, the girl at this other commercial property called me Friday and asked me to do a, an estimate on her on her uh, property that she, that she manages. So I sent, I did an estimate. Sent, I emailed her the estimate proposal or whatever you want to call it, and uh, she hasn't called me yet. I'm here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. And I'm actually here at Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna get my breakfast on real quick, guys. I gotta have my breakfast. I didn't do a burrito this morning, but I will do a uh, maybe a chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich, breakfast type of deal. You know what, I'm, let me give y'all guys a view of what I'm working with real quick, guys, for the 2018 lawn care setup. Let me see, let, let me show you real quick. You know what, I'm sorry guys, I don't have my mic on and it is, it is kind of windy outside. Let me put on my my, my good uh, mic on here real quick. Sorry, I don't have my rig on my GoPro. As you can see, look. No rig, guys. And uh, that's that's very unprofessional of me, guys. But let me go ahead and... Uh, I, I took it apart because I had to change the batteries out and whatnot. <coughs> Actually, let me go get my breakfast. Come back. Put on my microphone, put my rig on on uh, my GoPro, then I'll give you a little view of what's going on with my rig back here, okay? See you here in a bit. All right, guys, got my uh, sandwich fix right here, my breakfast fix. <clears throat> Just come out here and let me show you what I'm working with, fellas for the 2018 lawn care season. Damn. My bad, fellas. Sometimes in this business, you just gotta eat on the run, eat on the go. Let me show what I'm working with, fellas. Step out here into my office we got the old Toro 3450 as you can see good old Toro man and of course we got the 21 inch Honda <clears throat> step around here fellas we are using the Echo trimmer like I said, I'm not endorsed by Echo by any means, and I'm also using this Toro right here. I don't have my Echo trip, my Echo hedge trimmer, but I'm using this one because uh, I got a couple of of uh, shrubs that are pretty pretty tall that I need to reach. Then 
of course I got got my gas cans in the back fellas got the gas cans in the back <clears throat> so that's it is what it is fellas that is my 2018 setup <clears throat> nothing ex uh, extravagant but you know what it works for me at for the moment <clears throat> sorry guys if the audio it, it is windy out there look at the United States flag I was just waving in the air guys good old USA man yes sir proud to be an American oh man Oh. oh man, that sandwich just hit the spot, fellas. Perfect. Man. Oh, ah. That Coca Cola goes down perfect, too, man, with that sandwich. Well, guys, we got to get. get towards downtown Dallas because there's where my uh, property's at. Let's get after it, dude. I'm about to hit up my dealership where I got the zero turn. They're having a sale, a 20% discount on all Echo products, fellas. So, you know, you guys mentioned that I need a new uh, backpack blower. I just need a backpack blower. So that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to go get me a backpack blower when, after I get done with here. It's still a little early, so they may not be open. So I'm going to go finish up this. My first commercial property. Then I'm going to head over to the dealership and get me a backpack blower. Why not? I think I need one. I think I deserve one. <coughs> not saying that the little handhelds don't work. Because, dude, they're still running. I've had them for two years. Believe it or not. Two years. And they still work fine. There's nothing wrong with them. But since I'm getting commercial, oh no, look at the traffic. No, no, no. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Dang it. Well, fellas, you, you, you see what we got going on here, huh? <sighs> now, see, now I got to deal with <coughs> with traffic because I have to drive downtown. And I got to deal with all the traffic jam and whatnot here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. But it's okay, man. You know what? I got to It's good that I, that I uh, figure out the uh, routine. On the schedule of, of the traffic here that way I could leave accordingly leave on time and not have to deal with this traffic I don't know if there's a wreck or if this is just normal <coughs> like I said I just moved to the Dallas Dallas area from a small little town so where I'm from small little town in West Texas the west part of Texas oil field country it's uh it's not like this, man. So, still trying to learn the routine over here and whatnot. But anyways, guys, I got to keep my eyes on on the road, man, because I don't want to, I don't want to be distracted with you guys and then all of a sudden then have an accident. All right, guys, we'll see you on the rebound. Peace. All right, guys, there was a wreck. That's why we were uh, stuck in traffic back there, but I'm actually on I-30 right now, heading towards downtown Dallas, Texas, fellas. I'm on my way to the commercial property, my first time that I'm gonna actually set foot up there, set foot with the zero turn, set foot with the trimmers, set foot with the hedge trimmers, and get after it, fellas. I'm gonna show you what we do here in Dallas, Texas. <coughs> <coughs> Woo. I thought I was gonna die in April. We're actually moving into a loft right there at downtown Dallas, fellas. Now that's gonna be freaking awesome, dude. That's gonna be cool, man. That's gonna be cold as ice, cool as ice, or whatever that saying is. 
<clears throat> it's gonna be cold like an iceberg, fellas. <clears throat> so I can't wait. Wait till we move, which means I'm not gonna have a garage to store my equipment. So I gotta find a storage unit <clears throat> that has good security. Has to have good security. So I could store all store my trailer with my equipment in there, fellas. <clears throat> I don't know. I might try to even pick up some yards here. We'll see what's in store for us this year, fellas. I think it's going to be an awesome year for me, for my company, my family. It's going to be an awesome year for you guys. <clears throat> I'm happy. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just ready to... I'm ready to mow, guys. <clears throat> you know, and it, it's rained for about almost a week and a half here here in Dallas so that means we're gonna have green grass which means I'm gonna have green pockets fellas alright guys I'm gonna put the camera down so I can figure out where I'm at I'm still needing to learn learn the route how to get here efficiently so uh, let's get after it well fellas I'm here at the property now as you can see I'm gonna show you uh, I think what I'm gonna do is start with the shrubs let's take a You guys remember this right here right but i think i'm gonna hit up all the shrubs on this side first and uh hit up that jasmine so let's go ahead and uh i'm gonna hit up the shrubs real quick all the way around the property and then uh i'm just gonna park here because I'm not too sure how the neighborhood is around here, so I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to have the my equipment just out here without anybody watching it. So I'm gonna do the shrubs here first, and then I'm gonna drive around on the other side and hit up them shrubs and so forth. So let's do that. I don't know if I'm gonna record just now because I'm not sure how people are around here, and I don't want somebody to jack my camera. So that's the other reason I don't want to be vlogging or even showing off this camera because they're gonna know I have a camera inside the truck so anyways guys I'll talk to you here in a bit back at you fellas just got done doing this apartment complex <laughs> Woo, man did it tear me up man no I didn't tear me up it was just uh it was a lot of cleanup and uh, just a lot of work man it took me five hours to mow, line trim, blow, pick up trash, and trim the shrubs, man. I think, uh, let me see, the shrubs took about two hours to do. It took an hour to line trim, edge. And it took me about another hour to mow. And, uh, I think, yeah, it, it was, it was, a. Uh, and of course some other stuff I, I was kind of trying to rake up some of these acorns that were on the on the ground of course i didn't get all of it because i would be here all day man if i was raking that stuff up it wasn't hot it was it's about 74 degrees and i started about 10 and it's four now <coughs> of course i took me a lunch break an hour lunch break so there's where part of the time went but man i i recorded the time for everything that I did that way I'll know how much to charge and make sure that I, I'm charging right and you know what it, it I, I did charge pretty good man of course I did this solo <coughs> I did it by myself that way I could time everything and and see how much I should be charging per man hour uh, once I start to get familiar with the property it'll be easier and, and I'll be able to bang it out Shrubs took the longest, of course, trimming, and then, of course, the cleanup. That took the longest. There's tons of ground cover, which I also had to trim, which that also took took some time. And then, of course, you know, the edging and sidewalk around the foundation and whatnot. That took some time as well. Mowing wasn't too bad, guys, you know. I used a 21-inch. I didn't use a Toro just because I didn't want to screw up the blades. I knew it was gonna take take a little bit longer 
the first time around, but I think the f next couple of weeks of me just doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that, it'll, <coughs> you know, picking up trash and acorns, it's going to start to uh, look nicer and it'll be easier to maintain. It'll, it should only take me about two and a half, three hours to maintain it myself. Now, if I get help, of course, we'll cut that in half. But uh, the experience was cool, man. I ain't going to lie. It, it was good. And I say that because it was nice outside. Wait till July. I'll be saying something else probably. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, guys. I, I, I really don't complain, man. I don't complain. I try not to complain anyways. I'm done for the day. Day two of this vlog, fellas. Yesterday, I did that apartment complex today i'm doing the hoa first i gotta get my breakfast fixed man i'm here at jack in the box here in the beautiful city of dallas texas actually here in mesquite then i'm gonna head over to a uh, rock wall and start doing these hoas man i'm gonna try to bring you along guys like i said i may not just because i don't know how the how my customers are this is the first day and I don't want to uh, make them think I'm weird because I'm videotaping their property. Okay, so I'm, I may not do it. We'll see. But I got to get in here and get my fix, guys. But I'll let y'all know what's going on. Well, I just got done doing about 18 properties solo here. Not in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas, but in the beautiful city of Rockwall, Texas. I was doing an HOA, just the backyards. I did a... 18 of them by myself started about eight o'clock it's 4 43 took about an hour lunch man I, i'm telling you guys it was it was kind of tough my my arms feel like wet noodles right now dude i ain't even joking man oh man i'm gonna be sore tomorrow that's for dang sure <coughs> yesterday i did the uh i did that commercial property i did i also did that solo that was fantastic fellas and the same uh, apartment complex that I did yesterday, I just got an email from from uh, another property manager, and she told me that she's interested in in uh, my service, and uh, so I think I got two commercial properties already. So I'm kind of psyched about that, man. I mean, it's 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 just it's awesome, man. Now, am I gonna be able to do it by myself? Probably not. I don't know, man. If there's somebody here in the Dallas area that wants to help me out, work part-time or whatever, give me a shout, man. Hey, man, hit me up, and uh, we'll get you started. That's what it is, fellas. I'm totally excited. I'm, I'm, I thought I would be a little bit tired, but I'm not. I was tired earlier. I used a 21-inch on all of my yards, and a lot of them were pretty big yards, man. And I had a push mow. There's a lot of hills and slopes in a lot of these backyards, and retaining wall so i had to pick up the mower and you know what i ain't complaining guys it was good i feel good i feel awesome awesome i got more yards tomorrow not in the hoa but my regular customers and that i will do some video i didn't want to do any video just because i didn't know how the uh i guess i got to get to know my customers a little bit more before i do any of that woof, 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 woof. but i'm ready to go get me a hamburger or pizza man to be honest with you man i'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of hungry uh i need to get me some water too man actually i think i got water in the back let me get me some water real quick fellas let me, let me show you what i got guys hopefully you guys have an awesome uh, day have an awesome week be good to somebody you know all right guys we'll talk to you later gopro turn off gopro stop recording what up fellas hey i'm gonna this is actually day three of my mowing experience i'm gonna give y'all some mowing footage real quick i'm gonna show you what i'm working with really quick guys check this out this 
this up real nice. I'm gonna do a nice weed whacker lawn care type of job right here, fellas. Been watching a lot of Curtis from Weed Whacker Lawn Care. I'm fixing to do one of the one of his quality jobs right here, fellas. So stay tuned. <laughs>
in the riches over the What's up fellas, here we are on the zero turn, giving you a little mowing action for your eyes pleasure. Here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. Alright, here we go and we're off. And uh, sorry guys, no bucking in this video man, this Toro don't have that much horsepower like the old Dixie Chopper. I kind of wish I had a Dixie Chopper though. I, I don't know, man. We might we might invest in one next next year. We'll see. Either a Dixie Chopper, or I was also looking at the uh, Wright Standards. I don't know. We'll see. We'll flip a coin and see what we get. But I was having a I was having trouble with the cut on this particular yard here. I was I noticed that I wasn't getting a nice clean cut that I usually get and the grass was actually or the cut was uneven so after I got done here I took it to the back to the dealership and they had to adjust the the deck they had to level the deck man I'm telling you guys this season is going to be crazy with the two commercial properties I have and then got the HOA properties and I'm actually doing doing all of this solo I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie man but it it wears you out son I took a 12 hour sleep when I came home last night went to bed about 5 30 p.m. woke up this morning at 7 o'clock guys so that should tell you how exhausted my body was. My mind was exhausted, my body was exhausted. But I'm telling you man, I felt, I woke up this morning like a champ though. I was ready to get after it. Had a couple of, lo had a couple of lawns and a couple of shrub jobs. I posted one of the shrub jobs uh, before and after picture on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, Check me out on Instagram, Clips Lawn Care. If you guys haven't, um, follow me on uh, Facebook, it's Eclipse Lawn Care. If you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe, like. If you don't like it, dislike it. But I think I'm going to invest in the chest mounted GoPro system guys because I think it'll be a lot a lot better and I apologize for the shakiness like I said I just have the tripod right on the right where uh, I guess what do you call the floorboard 
That's where we're getting that shakiness. I don't know what happened here. I think I was probably adjusting the tripod again. But I don't know if you could tell, guys, but man, it was not cutting. But, rookie mistake, guys. The PTO was disengaged. So I wasn't cutting nothing, guys. I was just pretty much running over the the grass and it kind of looked like it was cutting but not really well I mean it wasn't it wasn't until I got on the other side of the house when I noticed that the uh, blades weren't even engaged and I had my uh, big old earmuff my earmuff uh, headphones which I couldn't tell if the blades were on or not so of course I had to come by come back to this other side and redo the recut it just want to give a shout out to my boy brandon rickborn check out his channel also want to give a shout out to tony's lawn care check out his channel he's the one who inspired me to do this type of action video and also just want to shout out to leo's landscaping check him out guys check him out Yeah, right about here, guys. If you could, you can't really tell, but it's a big old slope. It's a, um, how do you how do you say it? Not a big old slope. Steep slope right here, and I was I was actually sliding. I don't know if you could tell, but I had to go really slow, fellas. That's the only thing I don't I didn't like I don't like about the zero turn is that. I'm going by that car making sure I don't scratch it all right guys you're about to see where the PTO was in engaged right about here look at that it's not even <laughs> the whole time man I was mowing mowing this property I wasn't cutting nothing how embarrassing how embarrassing well you seen it here first folks I just got done doing a property here, the one that you uh, just seen me. I had a couple of uh, footage there for you. I uh, wasn't too pleased about the way the zero turn was cut in a day. I wasn't getting that clean cut I usually get. Not sure what it is. Last week I did take the zero turn to get a service. They put on some new blades, but I'm just not getting that clean cut, man. So I'm gonna take it back to take it back to the dealership and see what they could do, man. See what they could find. I may have to just take off that mulching kit. I do have the mulching kit. More than likely that might be it. So I'm gonna put the high lift blades back on it and take the mulching kit off. That's probably gonna take care of it. But it kind of just seemed like it was cutting uneven. I didn't like that. 
I wasn't getting a good clean cut and it was uneven. Maybe it's maybe it was the dealerships uh, that messed it up or whatever. I'm not sure. But this was the first time using the zero turn. I'm lying. The second time. And I did kind of notice on the first first time I used it this week it was kind of doing the same thing so I, I think it has to do either with the mulching kit the blades they put on it I don't know I'm not a mechanic fellas okay sorry about that not a mechanic but I'm gonna take it back to the dealership right now and hopefully we'll get it back into service quick all right fellas hey man it was a good three days oh it was police I didn't do it I didn't do it I didn't do it, sir. Oh, okay. He pulled over somebody. Never mind. Never mind. I wonder if it's illegal to vlog and drive at the same time. Woo! What a day. What a week, fellas. I'm telling you, my arms are sore to the max. My back is sore to the max. My legs are sore to the max. Max, 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 max fellas. I mean, it feels good, though, man. And I'm done for today. I'm done. I might get me a backpack blower while I'm there. Stay tuned, fellas.